Hello Pisces viewers. I'm going to look into what your person is thinking, feeling, wanting, um, whatever the cards want to say, actually. Sometimes, I mean, it's often about love, but sometimes, you know, money messages come through, career, uh, psychic awakening, dark night of the soul, uh, you know, twin flame, soulmate energy, just whatever the cards want to say. I was just doing my Capricorn videos and I was getting something about um, a toxic woman that wants to um, keep either you or your person, keeps either them or keep their person stuck in this um, cycle of having to be a caretaker for them forever. I, I channeled someone in a wheelchair specifically that was trying to keep them stuck, someone like a very bitter older woman. So, you know, sometimes just random things come out and you never know. But this is for Pisces, so we'll see what the story is. Cold, guarded, distrusting, third party, karmic partner. There's a lot of third party energies lately. That's a lot, especially with Mercury retrograde. There's some third parties. There's a lot of karmic cycles popping up, I swear. A lot going on. Um, cold, guarded, distrusting, third party, karmic partner, domination, control. Overthinking, overanalyzing, self-sabotaging. Sorry, just bear with my camera. Sometimes it takes a minute to adjust to the pictures. So just give it a minute. It's just a minute. Okay. Overthinking, overanalyzing, pride and stubbornness. Someone, you're someone's unicorn is what I feel from this. You're someone's unicorn. Or someone is your unicorn and you're afraid to reach out and you're the one that needs to reach out. You know, take it as it resonates. But I feel like someone is somebody's unicorn here. And a unicorn, have you guys heard that term? So a unicorn is somebody that's like, like your dream guy or your dream girl. Like you feel like, like you have them on a high pedestal. You feel like they're just perfect. Like they're everything you could ever want. But the issue is sometimes people don't pursue their unicorn because they feel like they're too good for them or they feel like they're like it'd be it's like it's it's so deep that it feels like, you know, if you were to ever lose this person, like you just couldn't handle it. So it's like someone's admiring you from afar or you're admiring someone from a, from afar. Take it as it resonates. You know, the roles could be reversed. So but it's like it's like, yeah, someone's admiring you from afar because it's like they just feel like, I you know, it's frustrating because you're like, I'm just human. I'm not that beautiful. I'm not that perfect. Like, I'm just like everybody else. Like, you know, but that's not how they see it. They think you're the world. They think you're everything. They think you're a queen or a king. Like, they have you on this pedestal. And it's actually kind of negative because it's like they have you on such a high pedestal. that It's like they, it's almost like a cognitive distant, dissonance where it's like they, they can't fathom that you might not be this, this perfect. This could be like a secret admirer type. I feel like, yeah, we have someone that, like that, someone that just sees you as beautiful and mysterious and enchanting. I feel like this person has another person, and I feel like I feel like their other person is getting pissed because this person keeps catching them looking at your pictures and this might not be someone that you're there with this could be someone like this could be someone from their past but like this person's like still stalking them like they're single now like they're not with this person anymore for some of you but this person's still like keeping tabs on them or like asking mutual friends to check up on them like I'm getting because I'm getting like the energy of like spying here but it feels like like some like this per like this karmic person whoever this is and this could be like a you know karmic person is not always a love interest a third party is not always a person it's not always a love interest this could be like a toxic mother father friend family member but i'm just getting that spying like this person's being spied on and they don't know that they're being spied on so i feel like maybe they have like mutual friends like they all have the same friend group and this person's like keeping tabs on someone's ex and reporting back to the ex. So I feel like the person that's interested in you or that you're interested in, they have an ex that doesn't want to let them go. Oh, sorry about that. They have like an they have an ex that doesn't want to let them go. And they might have be they might be in the same friend group with this ex. So it's almost like 
Like, they go to the same parties or they go to the same, like, they hang out at the same restaurants or clubs or, like, you know, whatever. Um, or, like, same, it could be, like, a group chat or something on Facebook, too, for some of you. But it's, like, they think this person, I'm getting, like, for, like, specifically, this is probably just for one person. But I'm getting, like, this guy that's, like, really popular. And I feel like he has a lot of friends, both male and female. And I'm seeing, like, a blonde woman. And I think that... I don't know if that's his ex or if that's the ex's friend, but I feel like this woman is friends with his ex and also friends with him. And he's thinking that this woman is on his side that, you know, maybe, maybe the breakup was rough, but he feels like, you know, he, I don't think he made her choose b between the two sides, but, and this is just for someone specific, but I feel like, I feel like maybe he, um, like, he didn't make her choose between, between like, you know, like, after the breakup, he didn't say, oh, you can you have to be friends with her or you have to be friends with me. You can't be friends with both of us. Like, they, you know, she's friends with both of them. She's friends with the ex and she's friends with him. But I feel like he kind of is a little bit cocky and he feels like, you know, she's loyal to him and, like, she's a loyal friend. But the thing is, she's actually spying on him. Like, they go to parties together and she spies on him to see... Um, who he's talking to, who he, who he's interested in. And sometimes he texts you when he's in this friend group, like he calls you or texts you and she re reports back to his ex. She reports back to her and says, Hey, like, you know, we were all at this restaurant and he stepped outside to call this girl. And I don't know who she is. Like, like he stepped outside to call someone because the ex is trying to get back with him. I'm feeling like, or her male or female, you know, take it as it resonates um, this could also be you. This could be your situation where it's like you have a friend that's spying on your ex's behalf and trying to dig up dirt because they want you back and they want to make sure no one else gets a chance with you and you trust this friend, but you little do you know that this friend is going back and telling your ex everything you say and do. Um, and this ex and your, and your, your mutual friend are, you know, plotting together to try to get the two of you back together. Um, or like I said, this could be your person, you know, I feel like for a lot of you, it's your person that's dealing with this, you know, this, um, this like karmic ex that, uh, you know, they're, they're, um, plotting with this mutual friend trying to get, trying to get, um, get in their good graces basically and, and get, you know, get them back together. So it's like he or she is calling you, they're stepping outside and this, you know, they're with, they're with their friends or whatever. They step outside to call you, you know, maybe, maybe like you guys talk every night or something, or like you talk once in a while and like they, they step outside to call you or message you. Um, and little do you know that, you know, and this could be past energy too. This could be someone that you're not talking to right now because they're dealing with some drama from their ex. And maybe you don't know why they fell off the radar and this is why, because they're dealing with some, some drama. But for others of you, I just feel like this is like current energy that you're going through where it's like, like I just see them like stepping outside, but then it's like they, they don't think anything of it. They just step outside to call you or message you. Maybe like you guys were talking every day. Like they, they had like a routine, like you had a routine where they said good night every night or something like that. So they like stepped outside to call you and it's like this, this toxic little, you know, mutual friends of his or hers and of, you know, their, the person's ex is reporting back to the ex and saying, yeah, yeah, he stepped outside. He called this girl, um, could be gay or lesbian relationship too, you know, take it as it resonates, you know, gender isn't important here. Just, I mean, it's, it's not specific to gender. It's just, you know, take whatever role it is, you know, just take it as it resonates. But it's like. Like someone's like just keeping tabs on someone is the energy I get where they like step outside to call you and like they're reporting like this, this mutual friend is reporting back to the ex. They're spying on them. They're telling them like all about you, how you, you know, how like, yeah, he was like on the phone for half an hour with this girl. Like we were all hanging out and I don't know, like, like there was some long conversation. I feel like some of you might've gotten upset too, because you felt that energy. You felt like they were like. Like there was like a, like you could feel that other person's energy. You felt like, like you got worried when they were at parties and stuff. And I think it's because you felt this kind of shady energy. You could kind of sense that someone was trying to, you know, there was an ex in the picture that was trying to get back with this person. But I feel like, 
I feel like you're their unicorn. I really feel that energy too. Like you're just, they think the world of you. They want you to be happy. They want to put you first. Because we have cold guarded distrusting. So I just feel like a karmic energy that was holding on, trying to control the situation. It just feels like a block here, you know, with overthinking, overanalyzing. It's almost like... Like they're trying to come forward to be with their person and then the karmic is pouting, this ex is pouting and getting mad about it and throwing a fit. And this person's having to deal with the drama because, you know, they don't want to lose their mutual friends. Like they don't, you know what I mean? Like they keep getting dragged into drama. Like I feel like, like either they don't know that this person, this mutual friend is spying and reporting back to the ex and they're plotting, these two women are plotting together to try to, try to get this um, man back with his ex or woman back with, with their ex, however, you know, however, or whatever gender it is. But um, it's like with this friend group, it's like someone doesn't know that the spying is going on. They don't know. Um, for others, I think it's like being revealed and now they're dealing with all the drama. Like they didn't know about it. They thought that their ex was letting go. And some of their exes are, like, really causing drama and, like, they're threatening them or they're saying, like, there's just, like, a lot of plotting going on behind the scenes. Because I feel like some of you might have had, like, a deep conversation with them, like, or, like, an emotional conversation, like, for, like, a long period of time. Because I just see, and this is probably for someone specific, but I just feel like they were, like, at a restaurant or a club where they were, like, with their group of friends and I see them stepping outside to call you. And you guys have a long conversation. And then I see this little, this woman, like this woman that's like peering out, um, you know, looking out the window, being like, you know, on the phone with, with this person's ex being like, yeah, like he's on the phone with this girl, like, like trying to, trying to hear what they're saying, just like spying, stalking, plotting behind the scenes. I don't think this person knew that. I don't think this person knew that they were being spied on. I think that now they might. Um, I think it's coming to the to light in the very near future, if it's not already. We have 12, 12, too, right now. 12 minutes, 12 seconds in. But, um... Because I see a block, like, pride and stubbornness, but it almost feels like a block to their unicorn, which is you, their person, their true love, what they really want, what really makes them happy. Because they're overthinking someone. Because I just get like this energy I feel from this is like, like this person's trying to drag this other person back into their drama, but it's like this person's over it. Like they don't care. But maybe they, maybe this karmic has something on him. Like they, like maybe she's saying she's going to, like, I don't know why I'm hearing this, but I, for someone, I, for someone I'm hearing false rape accusation. I don't know who that's for. That's a very specific message. But I'm getting that for someone, this karmic is so pissed that she's actually threatening to tell all their mutual friends that he raped her, even though he didn't. And she, it's, it's not like a situation where she was pressured or anything like that. This isn't, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like that. It's not like they were drunk and they, it was no, it's nothing like that. It's like, she did not feel raped. She did not feel violated. She did not feel pressured in any way, but she's just pissed enough and she wants to destroy his reputation. So she's going to make something up. Because I'm getting that they have mutual friends or that they all know the same people, like same social circle, maybe the same coworkers, maybe they work together for some of you guys. Um, but I'm getting that like she's threatening to ruin this, he or she is threatening to ruin this person's reputation at this point. For some, not for all of you, but for some, I feel like they're threatening to ruin this person's reputation. They're threatening, like they're trying to hold, they're trying to drag them back into drama. They're trying to drag them back into drama and chaos. Like, they're frustrated. They're getting upset. Because I almost feel like, like, with the stalking energy, I almost, I don't know, for some, I feel like that's past energy because I feel like it's, like, almost like a lighter energy where it's, like, yeah, they were having their mutual friends stalk this person and keep tabs to see if they're moving on, who they're talking to, what they're talking about, like, Almost like wiretapping phones kind of energy, like crazy stuff here. But I almost feel like it's gotten darker and more intense because now I'm feeling it's like, like she knows about you or he knows about you, you know, 
And they're like at that point where they're like they're trying they're just pissed. They're like they know that they're losing, but they want to ruin this person's reputation, almost kind of energy. Um so I just see like a block here. Like, look at that. He's looking towards his unicorn. He's looking towards beauty, mystery, enchantment, the things that actually make him happy. Or her, male or female. Don't get, if I say, you know, I, 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 okay, I, feel, I feel bad continuing to say like, oh, you know, male, female, this, that. Just If I say male and you know it's female, just, you know, take it as that. It doesn't, just don't get caught up on whatever gender I say. It could be male or female no matter what I say. So keep that in mind. Um... But I just feel like this might be the reason for your, for your person's distance. Is like maybe he didn't realize this little this little you know preppy Becky was was keeping tabs on him, and now he's you know he knows something's fishy. He knows something's going on, and it's possible that maybe she reported back to her to their mutual friend and said like yeah he was on the phone with this girl for half an hour. Like, I see them, like, like you know, peeping over his shoulder to, to see him sending you goodnight texts. And now that she knows that there's someone else, she's flipping out. So she was going to try to be patient and just kind of stalk and just kind of, you know, weasel her way back in there. But now she knows that there's competition, she's pissed. Some of them just want to win. Some of these karmics just want to win. Some of these karmics, because they have mutual friends... They're threatening to spread a rumor. They're threatening to lie about something that this man did, even though he didn't do it. You know, for some, it's, for some, it's a false rape accusation. For for others, it's like something like he might have an STD or he might have something going on, um, and she's gonna tell everybody. She is threatening to tell everybody, or she's threatening to say that he hurt her or he did this or that. She's like, she's basically just saying like, you know, she's basically telling him like, you know what, you want to go towards your unicorn and be with this other person, you can, but you're going to lose all your friends. I'm going to make sure that you lose all your friends, family, whoever is involved in the situation. I'm going to make sure that they think you're trash. I'm going to make sure that, you know, even if he didn't cheat on her, like they were probably broken up already, but like she's gonna, she's she doesn't care. Like she'll fight, she'll play dirty. She'll she'll lie if she needs to. I get the sense that she's gonna be like, like she'll say that he cheated. She'll say that he's he's scum. He did this. Like she doesn't care if she has to make things up. Like she'll make things up. She doesn't, you know what I mean? Like for a lot of them, not all of them, but for quite a few of them, I get the sense that they will make things up. Like they don't even care. They just want to destroy this person now. Like they're just pissed. And I feel like her little her little friend, her little blonde friend Becky over there is helping her with that. She's kind of whispering in this woman's ear and saying, like, yeah, like screw him. Like like almost like that, like like that, um you know, those toxic girl alliances. Like like most most girl alliances are good, but this is like, you know, like those toxic ones where like they gossip together and they hate on other girls together. Like they dress hot together and go to the club and they they sit in their little corner and they drink their martinis and and glare down all the other girls and talk shit about all the other girls and put other girls down. Like, it's those those kind of bitches, you know? Um, male or female. Male or female. But it's like those kind of people that just talk crap, just, just, just jealous, just petty, just materialistic, shallow. Like, I see, like, that, like, they... They're all about, like, they're, they're the kind of girls that, like, will not go out of the house without having their makeup and their hair and their nails done. Like, like they have to, they have to one-up every girl they see. They have to be perfect. You know, I'm getting, like, blonde, preppy, uh, fake vibes from a lot of them. Could be coworkers. It might not necessarily, you know, it's, it's a group. It's a social group. So take that as it, re as it resonates. It's not, you know, for some it's coworkers or some kind of other social group or some kind of group activity or organization. Um, some kind of place like where they meet. Could be like a hobby place or like some like classes or something, school, whatever. You know, take it as it resonates. But some kind of social group, yeah. Because I just feel like he's looking, it's like... Basically, I feel like she dragged him back into drama. She might actually be threatening to tell you something. Like, she might be threatening to message you and say, you know, he has been talking to me this whole time. Um, you didn't know it, but he's been talking to me this whole time. And it's not, you know, and you're smarter than that. Like, but she's going to try to, um, 
She wants to set this person up. She wants this karmic wants to set this this man or this woman up. Someone someone wants to set someone up because they're pissed because they realize that they're they're not the first choice. And this her little toxic friend is helping her. They they have this little toxic alliance where they're um wanting to do this together. They're wanting to um they're wanting to lie about someone. They're wanting to spread rumors about someone. I just feel like, yeah, like he doesn't want to lose his friends. I feel like he has some really good friends and she's for some like she's for some the accusations are really harsh. For some, like the accusations are straight up like something that could put him in jail. You know what I mean? Like some of them do not care. They're just they're pissed. And they have their friend is more toxic than they are. That's the thing. This mutual friend of theirs is like the toxic one. So she's kind of feeding her because this karmic is heartbroken. She's upset. She's devastated because she knows that this person does not want her anymore. And so her, her little mutual friend loves the drama and she's getting in between here, you know. Um, and she's saying, yeah, screw him. Screw him. We don't need him. We don't need no man. Let's go slit his tires. Yeah, let's go. Let's go accuse him of that. Let's mess up. Let's tell everybody he did this. I'll back you up. I know it's not true, but I'll I'll back you up if you say that he gave you an STD or if you if you want to message um his true love and say that he cheated. I'll I'll totally back you up. Like they're they're plotting some stuff. They're ew, ew, plotting. Two little succubus spirits befriending each other and plotting. That's an energy. So if you're new to my channel, this is an energy I've also been getting from my third party reads. So this is probably specific to people with Pisces in their chart. Um, so please check my third party reads because I'm actually, I've been planning on doing a reading going into this. So I think this is for Pisces, people with Pisces in their chart specifically. But, um, but yeah, it just feels like a block. It feels like he wants to go towards his true love, towards his unicorn. And it's like, she's trying to force, it's like, he doesn't give a shit about this woman. He just doesn't want to lose his friends. He doesn't want to deal with this drama. He doesn't want to be accused of something he didn't do. Some of them are afraid of losing you because like this, like the karmics wants to lie about something and tell him, tell you that he cheated or he did this or that. Or like, like she might come at you and be like, I just want to warn you. Like he used to beat the shit out of me. And like, you know, it's like intuitively, you know, it's not true. And it's, it's like, you, you need to take things like that seriously. I'm not saying that you don't, I'm not saying to dive in, but I'm saying for some, it's like, she's at that point where she's, she's going to do whatever she can to, to ruin this new love. Because she sees the way he's looking at you. Um, so I just get like a block here. Like, look at this. It's like, he doesn't care about her. It's like, she's delusional. She has to spy and stalk him. You know? Because it's like, look at this drama. It's like, you see how she's pouting and he's looking away? Like, he's looking towards his unicorn, which is you. Like, he doesn't give a shit about this. But she's forcing him to try. She's trying to force him to be in the same room with her anyway. You feel this energy where it's like, he doesn't give a shit. He's looking. And I always channel this differently depending on the context. So this is the energy. Because I channel primarily. So this is the current energy I get from this. Where it's like, look at him. He's looking over here. He doesn't care. But she's like pouting. It's like she's acting. She's delusional. She's acting like they're still together. Like she still has claim on him. You know what I mean? Like trying to go through his phone and trying to be like, you know, who are you talking to? Who are you with? Like trying to cause drama. Like trying to like acting like he still is, is hers and, and he's not. Oh, is that a ring on her finger? I never noticed that. Some could be married and getting out of a marriage. Some, she could be cheating with someone else too is what, how I see that. She might be loyal to someone else, but she just doesn't like to lose. But you see this energy where it's like, he doesn't care. Like, he's looking away. He's, she's pouting. She's trying to drag him into the drama. And he's like, bitch, I don't care. Like, I don't, like, I'm not yours anymore. I'm not with you anymore. I don't give a shit. Like, what are you, why are you asking? Why are you trying to go through my phone? Why are you trying to ask me who I'm with, where I'm going? We're not together. It's almost like, it's crazy. It's kind of a scary energy, to be honest, because she's kind of acting like they're still together, even though they broke up a while ago. 
Like, she's, like, like she's delusional. It's, like, in her head, they're still together. So she still feels like she has the right to question him and dictate what he does or doesn't do. Um, Because it's, like, she's asking him all these questions, like, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And he's, like, dude, I don't, like, we're not together. Why are you asking me that? Like, it's none of your damn business. Like, he's just trying to 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 get past this energy and get away from her crazy ass and be with his his you know his unicorn he doesn't care about the drama but she's doing everything to drag him back into it she was a path yeah a hidden truth is coming out and he's going to have to choose. He might have to apologize to you. He might have to be agree to be loyal to you. To, you know, do things differently. To have this new start with you. Adventure, honeymoon, vacation. Because the truth is going to be revealed, I feel. And it could be that... I feel like if she's lying... For some, she's lying about you... And he's going to find out the truth. He's going to find out she's been lying and he's going to be pissed. For others, I feel like she's lying about him. And, like, it's going to come to light. Or, like, something's going to come to light and he's going to have to choose. Truth, clarity. Soulmate, past life. New love, fated encounter. Sex, seduction. Yeah, for some, it's like a sexual rumor. It's like she wants to tell you he cheated even though he didn't cheat. You know, and her little, it's her little toxic friend. Because, like, don't get me wrong, the karmic is toxic, but it's like this toxic mutual friend that is creating a lot of this drama because she's just a succubus. She just loves the drama. And the karmic is in pain. The karmic is heartbroken. So it's easy for this little mutual friend, this little succubus, to, to feed off that heartbreak. You know what I mean? This is like a, like, like a, you ever see like those two girls that like become BFFs overnight and then the relationship crumbles within a few months? It's like that kind of relationship where it's like instant BFFs, but it's going to end with them like betraying each other and fucking each other over. It's going to end with bad karma for both these women. But it's like that kind of energy where it's like this mutual friend is like egging, um, egging the karmic on because she loves the drama. She loves the chaos. It's entertaining for her. She doesn't give a shit about this karmic. She doesn't care about, you know, seeing her happy, seeing her with, you know, getting back with her ex. It's not about that for her. She just loves the drama. She just feeds off it. She just finds it so exciting. And her life is boring and sad and empty, so she's found something to entertain herself with. It's like someone watching a train wreck. And this karmic is, is heartbroken, so she's too blinded by pain to be able to see that this this mutual little Becky friend doesn't actually care about her. This little Becky doesn't give a shit about her. She's just she's just using her because she loves drama. She's just trying to stir up some chaos, you know. And they're gonna they're gonna have a bad falling out. These two women are gonna have a bad falling out with each other. They're gonna this and this connection is gonna end with an explosion within a few months. Is what I'm feeling because they're they're both toxic. And I feel like the karmic might eventually recognize that this person did not actually have their best interest at heart, that she just wanted the drama, and then she's going to resent her and, and flip on her. Um, but they're, they're going to they're gonna be there. Like, these two women are going to go down together. They're going to be, like, she's going to be her bad karma and vice versa. They're going to have, like, an instant BFF connection, and then it's going to go down in flames just as quick as it started. Um... But yeah, there's like, there's rumors here that need to be cleared up, whether it's rumors about, about, about you or about your person. So I'm getting that this masculine needs to choose a path. Some of them need to apologize and they, they feel like, they feel stupid, like they're just, they're afraid. They're, there's some kind of threat and they're afraid of it. Publicity, social media, true love, potential life partner, magic, intention, manifestation, power, waiting, hoping, praying, dreams. Yeah, I feel like some of you are doing witchcraft on this, and it's going to give this masculine a dream. They're going to have, like, a telepathic, like, communication with you or, like, a dream. Or they could be doing magic on you, but someone's going to have, someone's been waiting for this to come back around. Like, someone's patiently waiting for this person. 
you know, or like you're like you are, or your person's waiting for you. Like someone's waiting for a communication, like waiting for like an opening because there's all this drama going on. But I feel like someone's gonna have like a dream and it's gonna clear things up. Yeah, because it's been like a power struggle and it's been it's been there's been tension in your connection because of this ex. It's been a power struggle between you guys because of this toxic karmic. And someone's going to recognize that and move forward. And the karmic's going to try to stop it. But you know what? You're you're going to be there and it's not going to work. Yeah, this, this masculine is ending this, this cycle. He's He sees how beautiful you're looking. And he's tired of spying. He's tired of having to wait. He's tired of the karmic's threats. And, you know, her saying that she's... She's going to end his job. She's going to tell everyone this or she's going to do this or blah, 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 blah. You know, he's getting to that point where he's going to be like, bitch, you go ahead and do it. I don't care. He's ending this, this cycle. He's having this breakthrough because the feelings are mutual between the two of you. He does think that you're better than him. He does think that you're you're like a queen or a king, like his unicorn. But he's still going to come through with a message anyway is what I'm feeling. Because the feelings are mutual. This emotional depth. This is true love. So, you know, you can't, you can't conquer true love. You really can't. Like, this karmic is going to try, and it is going to be back and forth for a little while. There is going to be some drama, some tension between the two of you, some awkwardness. But ultimately, I think he's going to reach that breaking point where he's tired of spying. He's tired of the karmic's lies. He's tired of the threats. He's going to be like, bitch, let the chips fall where they may. Go ahead and tell my friends this. I don't care. I just want to come back and communicate with my true love, my unicorn. You know, I just want to be free of the karmic, you know, because she's, like I said, she's delusional. She's trying to drag him back into drama and acting like they're still together. It's like, it's kind of scary. You kind of got to watch out for this karmic because she's like, she's like a whole other level of delusional. Like he ended it with her. He's not with her. But she calls him like if they have kids together, like mutual friends, it's like she acts like they're still together. It's like if they have kids, it's like she like nags at him about shit or it's like if, if they, um... If they have mutual friends, it's like she still tells, like, she, she talks about him like he is still her boyfriend. Like, oh, like, Jeff is coming, you know, Jeff is, is yeah, he's showing up in 20 minutes or so to the party. Like, yeah, like, yeah, we're doing great. Like, like trying to, like, hold his hand at the party. And he's just like, bitch, what are you doing? Like, we're not together anymore. Or, like, trying to make him jealous at the party. And he's like, dude, I don't care. Like, you can't make me jealous. I'm so over it. I've been over it. Like, and like I said, it's her toxic little mutual friend that's doing this, that's causing this chaos. So for some of you, this could be a warning to you. For some of you, this is like you're trying to get back with an ex and you got like a mutual friend that, you know, is telling you, you know, that she really wants to see you guys together and happy. And she's really just thriving off the drama. She doesn't care about you, you know. And I'm not, I know it's hard. Like, I get it. When you miss your ex, it's hard. It's it's painful. But the thing is that, you know, this person is, this this person's in love with their unicorn is what I'm getting, you know? Um, but yeah, I feel like, I feel, this is some good energy. You know what I mean? Someone's tired of spying. Someone wants a breakthrough with you. They want, because the feelings are mutual still. They want open, honest communication. They want to do things differently. Some of them are going to have to make a choice and just straight up say, like, some of you are going to have to deal with drama is what I'm feeling. Some of you, like, if you accept this person back, you guys are going to have to deal with drama because the karmic's going to stalk. She's going to do this. She's going to do that. And it's going to be worth it, though. Honestly, I feel like it's going to be worth it. It will be because you'll have each other. You know what I mean? Like, you'll get through it together. Some of them are just going to have to say because she's pulling on everything that she can pull on. Which, you know, you know, keep up with my third party readings because I do, I feel like this reading goes, I feel like, like Pisces, like third party, it's coming through strong. So I feel like you guys will probably resonate with my third party reads as well. So check back for those also. Um, and check my third party reads I did a few days ago too. Um, I do them pretty often. So, you know, subscribe and like and share if you want to, if you want to see those for sure. Um, any donations are appreciated. Even just a dollar adds up quickly. Uh, what else? Yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching. I feel like, yeah, I feel like this mask one's going to have to choose. He's going to have to reach that breaking point. And, and yeah, I feel, I feel communication. So thanks for watching.